What's up guys, this is Derek. This video is gonna cover a couple days of dual sport riding with some new friends that I found. These first three guys I'm riding with grew up together driving Jeeps through these trails, so they got a pretty good grasp of all the trails in the area. I'm doing a little mixture of voiceover and audio from the actual day. Um, these guys convinced me to get a Cardo system so that we could talk on the trails, which is really fun. Um, but I try not to talk too much while we're riding. I didn't really want to be vlogging while riding with these guys because that could get a little distracting. So this first part of the video here, we're going to go through a pretty long uh, creek section, which was really fun. Um, I was surprised at how well the uh, Dunlop 605 tires held through this sand and this creek. Um, you know I'm not a big fan of these tires. Almost lost it. That's a little bit of foreshadowing for <laughs> what's coming ahead. We came here a week earlier and the creek was much higher, so there was no shot at doing this. All right, so we got Dalton here on a Husqvarna 501. We got Andy on a DR650 and we got Alex on a XR650. The KLX300 had no problem keeping up with these guys. So that was that was cool. On road, off road, you know, did just fine. Limbo. Dude, this is awesome. So Dalton makes it up this exit, no problems. I'm down. I didn't have the same luck. Yeah, I lost all traction there. Maybe I could have got a better run up, but the rear tire really wasn't grabbing. I got it. Yeah, this is my spot. This is my spot. What I'm talking about there, we came here a week earlier, like I said, and tried to cross these uh, creeks, and I went down in the same exact spot. So this is a spot I'm struggling with. I'm trying my hardest here to push this thing out, but the rear tire is just not grabbing at all. Oh, I got it. Ready? Oh, this is the cool thing about riding with friends. They help pull out your bike. I'm gonna get it. Woo! The rut I'm walking in while I'm trying to push up the bike is also mud, so I'm slipping down that at the same time. Go buddy, go! Oh. So I'm gassed at this point, just catching my breath. But Andy does an awesome job getting up here, no problem as well. Well, he got a little squirrely. Woo! Yes! 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 <laughs> All right, so Alex here is having some electrical problems with his bike. I watched him disassemble, clean, and reassemble his carburetor in 12 minutes, so. If anyone can fix that problem, it's Alex. I'm gonna I'm try crossing this thing. This is another portion where I could not cross last week, uh, but now that the creek had gone down a little bit, made it up no problem. Super excited about that. But the other side of the creek was garbage. Look at all this mud. I'm completely, I'm completely sideways. This was the hardest stuff to get through. Just crawling through the best I can. I mean, 
it's just like swamp back here. Almost there! Oh! Got out of the mud and almost slammed right into a tree. We made it though, we're out. Oh my god. Whew, I'm gonna take a breather in these woods. I thought I was gonna take a breather, but everyone decided to just keep going, so it's a good way to work on my cardio. openish part of this trail um, super fun to go through but uh, giant mud pits will sneak up on you uh, go that way <laughs> Just kind of crawling through here, picking our own lines. Here comes another really muddy section that you kind of gotta work your way through. Did you choose the wrong way? Alright. I'm doing it. If you choose a bad line, you could get stuck pretty easy. Oh yeah. Eat and roost. <laughs> All the bikes got pretty covered in mud this day. So here we're getting to like that hill climby kind of section. Um, you know, just like everyone says on GoPro, it looks a lot less steep than when you're riding in person, but. I know it's not crazy, but it's the best hill climbs we found on this trail. That was, that was a close one. That was a close one. Guess I got a little bit squirrely coming down the hill. One last hill climb for the day, and we're headed out to Uari. <laughs> so at Uari, unfortunately my camera angle was not the best so I can't use too much footage from it. I was hoping to make a whole video of it because uh, I think we hit every trail but me and Dalton went out there and we met up with uh, this guy Wayne who's in front of me right now 
I think Wayne was on a KTM 500. Oh, I went up this one last time. I remember this. Going up a super rocky section here. But the KLX, just tractors right along, no problem at all. Yeah, buddy. Stock suspension about killed my back last time. And then we run into this guy, Channing, I believe his name was, on a CRF 300. CRF! And he's just chilling out here in the trails, so we invite him to come ride with us the rest of the day. What's up, buddy? How's it going? Good. Yeah, that's my first time here. You wanna ride with us? Yeah, alright. Okay, right on. What's your name, man? Uh, I'm Channing. I'm Derek. Derek? Hey, you don't have to remember. <laughs> That's right, Derek Dalton. Hey, Wayne. Wayne, Derek Dalton, Wayne. Okay. This is a 24? Uh, 23. 23? Cool. I like the Oh, right on, man. I got the Kawasaki version. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. This is really soft. So we got stuck behind a big line of Jeeps going up a hill. Uh, like I said, you got to work your way around them. Keep your eye on the driver's side of this Jeep. Oh, hello puppy, <laughs> hello puppy, thanks for letting me pet the dog, you guys have fun. I love that. Here we are, just pulled over to the side, talking motorcycles, talking trails. Man, I'm so impressed by all the people in the dual sport community that I've met so far. Everyone's so friendly, everyone's willing to help you out, um, give you advice, show you new trails. Wayne, are you pretty familiar with Brown? Dude, can I go with you? Because I don't know anything about it. Yeah, man. I got a nice little uh, 100, 150 mile Here I asked Wayne if he'll show me around Brown Mountain. He said he's been riding that. Uh, since 89 you know he's gonna he's gonna take me out there next week hopefully um, I got some maintenance to do on my bike got to do the oil change I got new tires I'm gonna put try to get those on by the time we go out yeah it's just an awesome community Channing was at URE from Wilmington we just ran across him in the trail and you know he rode with us for three or four more hours um, Man, it's just, it's great. It's a blast. So if you're interested in dual sports or you're interested in the KLX 300, um, please like, comment, subscribe. Uh, feel free to make fun of me in the comment section. I'll catch you on the next one.